All right, so I finished my basket weave. You can see here I have one inch of plain weave and one inch of basket weave. Um, after I wove the basket weave, I took my skewer and I beat it down because it helps get the weave structure more compacted. So I just went through and pushed all of the yarn down going one row at a time. You can do that with a fork or any other sharp pointed object that you can find to use. Um, so now what we're going to do is an inch of twill. So there are three different types of twill that we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to start here in the pattern for lifting up the yarn. So um, with a frame loom, we have to physically lift up the yarn as we are working on it. So I'm going to lift up one um, warp thread and then I'm going to cross over three warp threads. So I lift up one and I go over three. So you can see right here, there are three threads there that I'm going over. And now I lift up the next thread, and then I go over three, I lift up the next one, over three, and I'm gonna do that all the way down my loom, over three, under one, 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 over three, under one. So I'm going to go all the way across my weaving, over three, under one. And last time I missed one thread for the basket weave. So as you're doing this, you really want to pay attention and make sure you don't skip a thread. So you don't have to undo it over three, under one. Okay, at the very end, I just go over three. So I have my pattern lifted on my stick. I'm gonna tilt my stick up and bring my shuttle through the shed that I created by tilting my stick up. And you can see sometimes I use this thicker stick to pick things up, sometimes I use the rounded edge. It doesn't matter. Pay attention to your selvage. There's a loop here, it's not pulled taut. I want it to be taut but not tight because I don't want it to draw in a bunch. It'll naturally, you can see right here, it's drawing in a little bit, but um, you can't prevent it from totally drawing in, but you want to prevent it as much as possible. All right, so I am picking up from right to left, so I'm going to continue doing that because um, I want to um, be consistent. You can pick up either direction, but for me it's easier to go from right to left. So this time instead of picking up one and going over three, I'm gonna go over one and then pick up one. And then I'm gonna go over three and pick up one. And then go over three and pick up one. So I'm gonna do that all the way across. So this shifts the pattern. Um, it's the same pickup pattern, but be because I skipped the first one and went over it, and then picked up one is shifting it. So it's going to be a diagonal pattern. So if you look at, if you're wearing a pair of jeans and you look at them, denim is woven in a twill pattern and that's a diagonal pattern. Um, this pattern right here that we're doing is going to be a weft face twill, meaning you're going to see more of the weft, which is the yarn we're inserting than the warp because of the way we're lifting up the yarn. And then we're gonna do a balanced twill and then we'll do a warp face twill. So you'll get to see different types of twill patterns um, and how that uh, the diagonal changes, the color changes. All right, so at the end, I'm going over two at the very end instead of three. That's all that's left is two to go over. So you don't have to worry about the the end if you only have two instead of three left. So I'm going to take my um, shuttle. I've lifted up my stick for my shed. Oh, and before I do this, I want to make sure the very, I have two pieces of yarn that I'm, that are just sitting here that I'm going over, and when I go over them, they're just gonna be hanging out. So I wanna take the very end one and go underneath it, and then go into the shed, just so that the very end piece of yarn is holding on to, um, of the, the end piece of warp is holding on to the weft, so I don't have a bunch of floats, which are just pieces of yarn hanging out. 
So this yarn has gone through. I'm gonna hold on to the warp on the left side as I pull to the right gently so that it doesn't um, draw in, but I also don't have a loop there. Now I bead it down. All right, so for my third pass, so we're gonna have four passes and we just keep repeating those passes and that will be the pattern and the structure that we're doing. So last time, the first one I went over and then I went under one and over three and then the second time I went over one, under one and then over three. This time I'm gonna go over two, under one, and then over three. And so then I'm gonna finish the pattern the whole time like this where I go under one, over three, under one, over three, under one, over three, under one, over three. So I'm gonna go all the way across my loom like this where I go over three, pieces of warp yarn and under one, over three, under one. And the more you do this, the faster you will get. Again, make sure that you don't cross your yarn. Grab the yarn that is right next to the piece of yarn you just went over. And you might have to straighten it out a little bit if it starts getting wonky just because um, the tension might be off a little bit. All right, so at the end here, I just have one piece of yarn hanging out on the warp, which is fine. So I lift up the shed. I'm gonna take my um, shuttle. You can see my shuttle is just about over and um, ended with yarn. I'm gonna keep weaving until it's totally gone and then I'll show you how to put a new piece of yarn in. So this goes across, um, the weft goes through the shed and across. I want to make sure that the end is looped. Um, so once I push it down, you can see there's a little loop here. I don't want to have a big loop. I'll just pull it slightly like this. Um, all right, so now we're going to do our last pass and then we're going to repeat those four passes where we go. So the first one was under one, over three, under one, over three. The second one was over one, under one, over three, under one, over three, under one. The third one was over two, under one, over three, under one, over three, under one. So if you can see the pattern here, instead of going over two, we're gonna go over three and under one. So we're working basically with four pieces of yarn in a pattern where we go over three, under one, over three, under one. And you can see that a diagonal um, pattern is starting to form based on skipping yarn as we start the pattern. So we went over three, under one, over three, under one. So then the fifth pass of yarn, we're gonna go back to the beginning where we go under one, over three and we'll keep doing those four and build them up. We should probably, I believe it'll happen two, two passes of the four patterns, probably a little more because it's weft space, so it'll get beat down more. Uh, over three, under one, over three, under one. Okay, so the very end, we just go over three. So I'm gonna push this down, open the shed, and then I'm gonna put the shuttle through the shed so the weft is inserted through there. All right, so I'm gonna push it down. So we have one, um, one consecutive pass of this pattern where it's um, four different passes to create this diagonal. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the skewer and push everything down so it gets more compacted in the way it's supposed to. You can see how that's starting to make a big difference. Um, and again, you can use a fork, skewer, you could use a needle, a stick if it's pointed, maybe even a pencil or like the end of a pen without the ink. 
um, or a mechanical pencil end would work really well. Anything you have around the house or um, wherever you are sheltering in place. All right, so I have four passes. So do you see this diagonal right here that's starting to um, form? And you can see right here, the weft is going over three pieces of warp and then under one. So this is a weft face pattern because if you count four pieces of yarn, three of them are showing the weft and one is showing the warp. So because the weft is on top, it's called weft faced where you can see with the um, basket weave, it's a balanced weave because there are two pieces weft going over two pieces of warp and then under two pieces of warp. So it's balanced just like the um, plain weave. So I have this um, twill is woven and now I'm gonna go back and keep weaving the twill for an inch. So to start, as a reminder, you go under one, over three under one, over three. So I'm gonna do that all the way across again. And then the second pass, you go over one, under one, over three, and then under one, over three. So then you start the pattern after you go, um, oh, what did I mess up? Okay, you can see right here, I'm starting to pick up the same yarn that just went over. That's because I only went over two instead of three. So those are things you wanna look for when you're working on this, that it should diagonally be the next piece of yarn that you had um, to the left of what you had just picked up. So I'm gonna keep weaving this and then I will come back and show you how to add a piece of yarn if you run out of weft to add a new piece of weft in.